There's been no uh, single attack like this on the, the Jewish people since the Second World War, and that's a, a matter of, of, of record. And you know what? I think that uh, that may be because across the world, the memory and the lesson of that appalling crime, when six million died, the memory may be starting to fade. Mm. And it may be that what we're really seeing now in some of these these marches and, the, and these demos and the unthinking way people are talking about this issue, well, we're starting to see perhaps, uh, I, I really hope this isn't the case, but you're seeing more and more evidence of anti-Semitism. And in the end, uh, that is something that simply cannot be tolerated, not, neither in my country nor, nor anywhere else. could see the, the evidence that, that I've just seen and that, that Scott has just seen. What they would see is the absolutely incontrovertible evidence of families in the, in the last extremity of, uh, of uh, suffering and fear and they're completely innocent, trying to protect themselves against brutal, brutal killers and people who are setting out to, uh, to attack and to brutalize the, the most innocent and, and defenseless. And, and, and Scott is right. That is the exact opposite of what the Israeli Defense Forces are trained to, to do. Look around. This is this is the end of anti-Semitism. This is where it ends. Those expressions of hate and against Jewish people. This is what it becomes. What we are seeing around us here today. That's why it can't be tolerated in its in its most smallest form, because it starts as a as a mustard seed, and it grows into into this horror. <laughs> 